Hello everyone! Before we delve deeper into the coverage of Asanoyama Zozeki promotion ceremony, let me update you on some other important developments in Sumo this week. Firstly, the coronavirus continues to cause Sumo uncertainty as Japanese politicians finally admit the scale of the problem is much worse than previously suggested. Tokyo Governor Yuriko Koike has at last appealed for social distancing to take place this weekend, meaning wrestlers returning to their Tokyo stables from Osaka have been asked to stay there and avoid outdoor socializing. As you may recall, the month-long spring tour was cooled off on March the 5th, and I'm afraid the cancellations have continued. Given their very high average age, the Yokozuna Council elected not to hold their regular post-tournament meeting on Monday this week. Furthermore, the all-stables practice, scheduled to be held in front of them on May the 2nd, is also off. Amateur and children's sumo is suffering too, I'm afraid. The Kashiwa event to which I took you last year, also slated for May the 2nd, has been postponed indefinitely. As has, come to think of it, Yoshikaze's retirement ceremony, according to a tweet I read today from the man himself. As for the May tournament, the practicalities were discussed at a regular board meeting yesterday, including the prospect of allowing only a few fans inside and spacing them out, but no conclusion was reached. It seems sumo chiefs too currently underestimate the level of social distancing needed for April and May, and aren't quite grasping how likely an enforced cancellation might be. A Japan coronavirus task force was belatedly set up this week and, depending on how things go this weekend, may well advise Prime Minister Abe to adopt similar measures to Europe. Watch this space, but with the comforting thought that whatever happens, we have enough resources to get us through May, tournament or otherwise. Now, regarding the men we trust to steer Sumo through these tough times, Chairman Hakaku was re-elected for a third full term last Monday by the ten directors elected unopposed last month. In addition to managing coronavirus issues, Hakaku has promised to press hard for the eradication of violence from stable life, Totally impractical, according to the retired wrestler I met last week, but publicly, that's what Hakaku seems convinced he must say. He will also need to address finances. The association made a $3 million surplus in 2019, but has already lost $10 million in ticket revenue this month, as well as, I guess, 300000 in withdrawn bout sponsorship. Now aged 56... Our invincible chairman is expected to hold on to his role for another eight years. His core entourage have kept their jobs, but two new appointments see Isegahama Oyakata become chief judge and Araiso Oyakata take over as press club manager. Well, he is much more approachable now. And we have a brand new addition to the coaching ranks. 36-year-old So Kokurai has retired from the ring to inherit his Arashio stable from the retiring master. That would explain why he took Japanese citizenship in September last year, a prerequisite for becoming a sumo coach, and also why he sat the last tournament out completely, even though he needed just four wins to regain his salaried status. This means the last match of a checkered career, beginning in September 2003, was in fact his defeat to Chiyoshoma this January 26th. The intervening years had seen him total up 25 tournaments in Division 1, with a top rank of Maegashira 2, endure a two-year hiatus after being dismissed for alleged match-fixing, and achieve a dramatic reinstatement in March 2013 when he became, to my knowledge, the first wrestler ever to win a court case against sumo chiefs. Intriguingly, the court stated that there were indeed indications of his having fixed matches, only not the matches forming the body of the sumo association's case, thus rendering his dismissal unfair. It's important to stress he was one of the scapegoats for a wider problem at the time, 
He was welcomed back into sumo circles with open arms and remains a popular figure in the sport. Pro sumo's first official Chinese-born wrestler now becomes the sport's first Chinese-born coach and fifth foreign-born stable master overall. A staunch ally of Yokozuna Hakuho, he will be expected to lend his support when Hakuho Oyakata surely runs for the Sumo presidency in 2028.